G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to teach you how to eat a pie at the footy. It obviously takes a little bit of finesse, a little bit of love, a little bit of passion. Hashtag no meat on the cleats, because there's nothing worse than uh, when the pie spills out and hits your toes. I think they're ready. Woohoo! First things first though, I've got to get into an appropriate attire. All right gang, now I feel a little bit safe for getting the pies out. Let's go. Geez, they're hot. Look at that. Second ingredient, dead horse. It's a non-negotiable. I don't care if you're bloody tomato intolerant, you gotta whack a little bit on your pies. Oh, for fuck. Now sometimes at the footy, you gotta use those little plastic things and that can test how good you are at applying sauce to your pie. If you need to chop out applying sauce to your pie, you put it all in the middle like that, and then if you're skilled enough and have enough confidence, you give it a little bit of shake. Shake around all the edges. And in no time, you get a nice tomato covering. Never use your fingers, that's, um, that's primary school sort of stuff. One thing I never want to see is the meat. The meat dripping on the ground. Now, here's a technique that would allow meat to drip on the ground. There's meat dripping out everywhere. No, that's, oh, now it's messy. It's messy, oh for fuck. Uh, the second technique that a lot of people use is the lid off technique. I'm not sure how you do that at the footy though. I used to do this. So it's the lid off technique and then if you get a spoon, you can get all the meat out. But that's like deconstructing a sandwich. You don't, you don't ever want to be seen doing that, do you? But last but not least, I'm gonna show you the quick, the easy, the accurate, the least amount of spillage on how to eat a pie at the footy. All right, so once you got your pies out, you go sauce, sauce, step one, and then shake. Shake it, baby. Once again, in this section of the technique, no fingers. You don't use your fingers because we're not three-year-olds, are we? All right, so this is how you begin. It's a nice little nibble at the front, about a 20 cent piece, and that's our opening. The next couple of little bites, you probably want to eat around a little bit. This is the best shooter's video I've ever made in my life. So we look a bit dicey here, we just tidy that up. Holding technique, thumb under the back of the pie, middle finger under the top of the pie, and you got three fingers free to do whatever you want with them. You gotta practice in your environment, so you can't just go to the footy, have the two finger salute, and think you're the king dick, it's gonna go everywhere. Practice at home, get it right, and then you can be a pro like me. Go the D's, go the D's, go the D's. Oh shit. Stay on top of the basin meat. That sounds weird. Alright, we're halfway. This is picturesque. You could just put it in your pocket. That's how well we've sort of nibbled away. Hashtag no meat on the cleats. Alright, even this little part. Nibble, nibble, nibble. Oh look at it. It wants to come out. But you can't let it. You've got to be in control of the pie. Even the littlest touch of the thumb almost ejaculates the meat. Oh, for See what happened there, kids? A bit too hard on the center, pushing it out of the sides like a toothpaste. <sighs> oh, I'm ropeable. Anyway, oh, for all right, we gotta finish it off. And this is the part you can really enjoy. Bit of pastry, only a little bit of meat. Your home and hose. Enjoy this last part. All right, guys, hope some of those tips and tricks helped you in your next venture trying to eat a pie at the footy. Yeah, this is what real YouTube is about. Putting your body on the line for the viewers. I only ate the pie for you guys. Not because I was hungry. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate all the support. We're on 5K, so I reckon I'll do a Q&A in the next couple of weeks. Comment your questions down below. Yeah, I appreciate your support, and I'll see you around soon. Cheers. So who's gonna win the flag this year?